hello hello everybody this is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts and today we are going to start to break into the Diamond Art Club advent calendar so we're not gonna so spoiler spoiler spoilers yes 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 uh, if you don't want to see some of what's in this um, this advent calendar then don't watch this video uh, I'm not gonna unbox the entire calendar all in one go because I don't want to see it all in one go but we are going to kind of break into the first one and we're going to look at what's in the first item in here and go from there. So we are going to grab, I wasn't smart about this. I didn't grab my uh, ink pen and bring my ink pen or uh, my uh, scissors and bring it over. This thing is massive. Look at that. It's like too big for my table. It does give us an idea of what's on here, but I mean the listing for the advent calendar also told us contents of what was in here. I know there are going to be some items on this that I do not want, uh, and I will de-stash those items because there's certain things that I'm going to be like, mm, yeah, not a fan, and I will probably get rid of. So we're going to take the plastic off of this massive box. I do have to say, their packaging is very nice on this. So, we're going to break into it. Is it starting to feel like Christmas for anybody else? They get in Christmassy weather, nice and cold and wintry yet. Um, they've got this nice bow. I'm going to untie the bow. And we are going to open it up. Boom, 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 boom. All right, day one, let's see, what do I wanna do? Do I wanna do day one or do I want to do more? So I think we're gonna, like, we're not gonna go all the way into everything. We're just gonna kind of break into some of it. And there, like I said, there's gonna be some items that I do not want. Uh, and those items are gonna be some of the ones that I end up de-stashing but we'll do a little bit at a time with this. So day one that we have right here, boop, is going to be, ooh, these are pretty. If I can get them out of here. We have some, these are, I think that's what they call their iridescent drills, but they are, uh, Code, color code RK444. Um, so they kind of are that iridescent y, kind of like metallic y colored drill. And then we have some Z666, so some 666 fairy dust drills. So we have some special drills behind box number one. Look at that. How fun! I like so. That was our door number one. So these are going to be short videos for you guys as we go through a little bit at a time. So yay, door number one. All right. So let me go ahead and grab a tray. I'm going to grab a white tray and we're going to see what those look like. Here's my white tray. Because I haven't actually seen anybody show... Uh, cause I'm not gonna lie, I have actually, I don't like surprises and I wanted to know what was in the box. So I have actually watched videos of these uh, to know what was gonna be in the box. So let's look at these iridescent, I think they're an iridescent drill. They, they look like a metallic drill to me. Ooh, those are pretty. So look at the gold sparkliness. Okay, I need to cover this up because I do not trust kitten. Look at that. So those are really pretty. I like that. I wonder if I will be able to utilize these to bling up one of the two uh, kits that came with. I hadn't thought, like, that would be fun if they're going to be usable to bling up one of those two kits. So let us see. The metallics don't... Um, work as easily as the regular drills to come out with the fun with uh the drill tray they yeah they're not coming out like normally I have no issues of drills coming out of this um this tray easily it's like one of the easiest 
trays to get drills out of, but these drills do not want to come out of it. They do not want to come out. I think it's because they're that iridescent-y and they're a little staticky. But everything's staticky here in the desert. So let us see. Did you? St you did. She's a stinker. Sushi and I have this battle going on right now of who gets to sit in the chair. And Sushi is convinced that she gets to sit in my chair. Which she can sit in my chair as long as she sits in the back of my chair. But I get to sit in the front of my chair. But she's like, no, she wants the entire chair. So now we're going to look at this 666 fairy dust. I don't trust the kitten because she could do chaos things. Let us see. See, this is what I'm used to is when they actually kind of like lay out a little bit better. But these still have a little bit of static to them because they're not uh, rolling out very clearly. But look at that red fairy dust. And you can see that glitter in those fairy dust. Very pretty. And you can see a little of the facets there. Very pretty drills. So let me go ahead and pour those back. Yeah, see, that's much, much easier. That's what I'm used to. See how easy those ones poured out? Those ones just didn't pour out very well. But anyways, so these were the special drills behind door number one. Whoop, whoop. Alrighty. So that's all for today. Our un unboxing for today was door number one. And we will have to come back in our next video to see what's behind door number two. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.